Hi, today I'll be making baklava, a yummy, delicious Middle Eastern sweet. This sweet is definitely not for the ones who are really worried about calories. I must tell you this before I start. One more thing I have to warn you, you can't make this sweet and have it in a hurry. This takes time. Like they say, good things take time. So let's see how we start. In a bowl, just need one and a half cups of flour with a little bit of water and a pinch of salt. Keep kneading it really well because we want this to be a very soft, pliable dough. Here I have a soft dough as you can see. Keep the dough for about an hour to rest. Once rested, we are going to make small balls and roll them like rotis, like flat bread. What I do is I carefully roll all the rotis and place it in the same container. This way I am going to keep all the rotis carefully and saving space as well. Once you have completed all, you have to put a little bit of olive oil on each roti and start placing the one above. Keep doing this until you have done the same to all the rotis. I put some extra olive oil so I am trying to use that up. So keep doing this and putting each roti on top and press. Don't press it too hard. Keep putting the olive oil and rubbing it around. Make sure all the corners hit the olive oil properly. All you have to do is after you put all the rotis together, roll it once more until it's a nice thick thin circle, a big roti and just cook both sides on a low flame and then start removing one by one. My son was doing the video so he has accidentally not videoed that part. But don't worry, it's similar to the samosa dough. I'm going to share the link as well. Now getting ready with all the nuts. So I have some pistachios and some salted almonds and some plain roasted almonds as well. If you have a food processor or a blender, just blend the nuts for a few seconds so that nuts are broken into small pieces. Small pieces, not powder. Make sure it's not too small because you have to bite into those crunchy nuts. Now here I am adding some spices, grating some cinnamon, nutmeg. These are the Mid Middle Eastern spices that give a lovely flavor to this dish. And of course finally some lime rind. This gives a nice freshness to this dish. Make sure when grating the lime not to grate it too far down until it reaches the white part. That is a little bitter. So see that you don't take any white at all. Now to combine all these delicious ingredients, I am adding the melted butter. Now the filling is ready. I remember eating this topping with yogurt in Morocco as well. Now I have my rotis made and ready. So I am going to rub them nicely, very lavishly with a lot of butter. Make sure to have plenty of melted butter in hand because we are going to layer each roti with a lot of butter and nuts in between. Be lavish with the nuts because the dessert is all about the nuts and the crispy pastry. How the pastry becomes crispy is the butter that we add for each layer. If you want a shortcut, you can buy the spring roll pastry and use that as well. Now finally make sure to cut it into lovely triangles before you put it into bake. It takes about 30 to 35 minutes in a 375 centigrade oven to bake. Once the top is golden, you know it's ready. Just before I took the baklava out of the oven, I made the syrup. That is with 1 cup water, 1 cup sugar, a little bit of lime juice, and of course some rose water and two tablespoons of honey. You have to boil it only until the sugar is dissolved. Just mix it up nicely 
and boil it on a slow flame. Make sure to do this as soon as you put the baklava in the oven because we have to make sure this syrup is cool before we take the baklava out. Mmm, my baklava is ready. And now I want you to listen to this lovely sound. It's the sizzle that you have to get. My son is with me and he's yeah, excited yeah. about this yeah. noise as well. He was waiting for this. This is my son Mirage's favorite dessert. So I made it specially for him. And he's my assistant today. That's why we have some videos here and there because he's helping me today. It's nice to have a helper, but only thing is he has made some short videos that I can't even connect. But I enjoy having him next to me. The baklava looks delicious and this rose water gives a lovely Arabian smell. I'm sure this dessert takes time to make, but it's worth every ounce of your time. One more note, I know you're excited to taste it right away, but you have to wait for at least an hour so that all the liquid is soaked up. But the ones that we had the next day tasted much better. So I must tell you, be patient if you want to taste the best baklava ever. Make sure to cut the triangles really well. If not, it's a little difficult to remove it. As you can see, I'm having some trouble. Please ignore these ad hoc videos. I was having trouble removing them. As you can see, my son was quite impatient and I couldn't wait for that long. So I cut it earlier. So the syrup has not totally got absorbed, but nevertheless, it was super delicious. We were all impatient, waiting to taste that first bite of this delicious, yummy dessert because it was smelling divine. No one was patient enough, so we had half of it as soon as we baked it. It didn't even sit for 10 minutes. I'm sure you'll try this dessert and love it just as much as we did. Enjoy dessert and happy cooking until I see you next in my next video. Bye for now. Oops, I almost forgot to tell you, if you are not subscribed to my channel, now's the time to do that.